This place has been ransacked. They've all been slaughtered. Prewen? No, not their style. Where has Harriet gone? She must have left a trail I could follow. Where is old Bridget? Damn! If I'd come earlier, they would still be alive. Take not a step further, child, for you are unprepared. You, at last. I wondered when you would show your face again. Step away. We have nothing to discuss. Desist, child. You cannot confront the monstrosity unleashed upon this land without due preparation. I shall not allow it. All right. But no more riddles. Enough of the obscure songs and prophecies. I ask questions, and you answer them. My words have been as clear as crystal lakes, my child. You seem unwilling to drink, to listen, to learn. What is your true appearance? I do not understand. This is who I am. Blood. You are made of blood. Surely you are joking. Why would I? And no, I'm not made of blood. I am blood. Blood is what I am since my birth and for eternity. But who are you really? Tell me your name. I am your maker. I am the servant of the Red Goddess and protector of this land. I have many names. Just give me one, then. There are those who call me Murdin Wild, the Wild Horned Man. But I never was a man. I was born out of blood. Why did you choose me? Only you could provide a modern, scientific answer to this ancient, mystical threat. What kind of modern answer? Disease, contagion, and contamination. How they course through veins is your dominion, my child. Your choices have made you. Only you can save this land. Speak to me of this ancient threat. The blood of hate. Vessel of the wrath of the goddess. When she awakens, a disaster will be born into this world, for she is hunger and anger. I'm here to stop Harriet Jones. She is the original carrier, the well from which this corruption flows. I have heard you, but be wary. Harriet Jones's mind is no more. She has metamorphosed into an apocalypse. Born from, drenched in, and driven by the blood of hate. What is the blood of hate? It is the curse of the goddess. It is the hunger in you. The need for blood. The will to strike and to punish. To spit in the eye of God. Tell me about this disaster creature. I know London fell victim to such a thing in 1666. A disaster is pure anger born through blood. Its name means bad star, for they only appear when our queen unleashes her unquenchable wrath upon the world. And who is this queen? She is the Red Goddess. The Queen of Blood. In my youth, a hundred lifetimes ago, she was worshipped as the Morrigan. She is my mother. She is yours, too. The Morrigan? The Celtic Goddess of War? Is this a ruse of some kind? 
She has been worshipped in many forms throughout the ages. The true nature of the Red Queen is beyond your comprehension, eluding even mine. But know this, she is a vengeful mother. So the disaster is some sort of accident. A disease vampires carry dormant in their blood, waiting to emerge. That's your modern answer. But a disaster is at the same time both less and more. Tell me what it is then, in your own words. A disaster is the pure will of our queen. Whenever she dreams of walking this earth, she awakes in this putrid vessel. I only wish to know how to put an end to this epidemic. To perform an act so noble, you must protect yourself from its poisonous kiss, my child. I know. McCullum used such a serum when trying to kill me. However, I have produced a more efficacious version of the antidote. Your final task awaits you at the end of these tunnels. I've known for ages you were worthy of this challenge, my champion, Bittersweet. Will it be over then? Once I've defeated this creature? Yes. The threat will dissipate like so much smoke, for you will have purified its source. And then what? What will become of me? How would I know? I am no god, and your fate is in your own hands, for you are our champion. What will happen thereafter? What future awaits me beyond these dark tunnels? Your fate, my child, and the fate of this land. A disaster is about to enter this world to smite us all and teach us humility. You are our final home. You tricked me. My sister died for your schemes. I have brought suffering and tragedy into this world. I am not, nor will I ever be your champion. Very soon you'll come to know that sacrifice is sometimes necessary. I understand the grudge a child bears towards his father and mother. Be brave, my child. These poor skulls didn't stand a chance. I'll be glad to be of assistance. Ah, oh, like your help, Doris. Liars! All of you! <coughs> My poor baby. I've been such a bad mother. But the Queen herself forgave me. Gave me another chance. Harriet, you must stop all of this. I can't let you infect anyone else. How? Dare you interfere with the Red Queen's plans, Doctor? How can you stop the course of nature? Nobody ever helped me. I've been alone all my life. Ah! 
immensely. How irredeemably are you all going to suffer now? Blood, feed me, give me their lives. No one could ever defeat you, mother of us all, for you are our every root and leaf. You've always been my most amusing son. Then go back to sleep, my queen, and smile at us from your dreams. Did they feel my wrath? Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us all. Until the next time. Until the next time. So it's over then, young Ekon. You have put an end to this terrible menace. Old Bridget? What are you doing here? This is my realm, Ekon. This is Suaskal territory. But they were all massacred by the monstrosity that Harriet became. Others will come, engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course. I thought you'd been slaughtered, with all the other sewer skulls. I was up above, in search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. I have no idea what it was. It's over. I have avenged my poor Mary. Yes. You prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize, really. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what happened here today. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed, newborn vampire, stepped forward and saved us all. I'm honored to be part of this city's legend. Thank you, old Bridget. May I ask you just one question? How could I refuse you anything now? I'll answer just as I answered Lady Ashbury when we met a few nights ago. Who are you, really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever by making me drink his blood. You were Lord Redgrave's wife. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. 
peace found me in time. And I sincerely hope it will find you too, now that all is over. No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, but I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you would say that. Go then, young Ekon, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. London has been cleansed. This catastrophe came about when an ancient malignant will crossed paths with mortal imprudence. For now, we are safe. For now, my craving for blood remains. Red like hate, red like hunger, red as life and death, passing from one immortal to another, from predator to victim, patiently biding its time to rise again. London has been cleansed for now, but there's a simmering hatred, fear, and old grudges. When will we succumb, mortals and immortals alike? The next disaster is only a matter of time. My only hope now is to catch the woman I love, to understand why she fled, and unmask the secret that has been lurking in her blood for so long.